The Cal Bears making a journey from the West Coast and Berkeley looking to come away from the tournament this year, possibly with a national title. Welcome to PPL Park on the outskirts of Philadelphia. We have made it to Championship Sunday for the 2013 Collegiate Rugby Championship. Give us 20 minutes and we will give you a new love of this game. Rugby 7, Semi 1, underway, Cal and UCLA. On the same side, UCLA's got some weapons as well, so Cal's got to keep playing. They're only up by five, but Danny Barrett, wow. as soon as he gets the ball in his hands, you got to respect him. Third try on the day. Young man that prepped at Sacred Heart out of Pacifica, California. He has been just a workhorse for the Cal Bears. And Cal takes it away. And now Cal can just run it out. But Jake Anderson says, why not get more? What a run by Jake Anderson. We are set for the final. Jack Clark and his squad going through final instructions. Life University trying to take down the Goliath. That is Cal, absolute stalwart in the world of rugby. We take rugby pretty seriously. I mean, we're really trying to be good at it. Every year I've, I've learned a lot of different things about the players that have played before me. It's a, it's a huge honor to get to wear the blue and gold stripes. Knowing the guys in the past who have gone before you and accomplished so much, and. You have a responsibility to that tradition. You know, the fact that, you know, we were good a couple years ago doesn't mean much to these young men. I mean, they, they, they want to be good themselves. There is the venerable Jack Clark, the head man at Cal since 1984, the oldest intercollegiate sport. They've won 26 of the last 34 national championships in 15s, ranked number three in the preseason for the sevens. But, Brian, this is the one they really want, the sevens national championship. And if you thought Cal was going to come out and play conservative, laid-back rugby, they are going right at the running Eagles. Look at the tag, yeah, how he buys some time, looks Play around, finds some space. Sheamus with a step, shows him a dummy leg, and famous Sheamus takes it in for the Bears. Ruck is formed. Clock shows zero. And they've done it! California! Four tries at the title, and it's theirs. The Bears of California are golden as the national champions. So those are your four activities. It's 20 seconds of work. You can't stop moving. Don't stop moving.
of California. The machine, the juggernaut that is Cal Rugby. What can you say about Cal? They just keep coming, they're relentless, they keep attacking. It is known as Collegiate Rugby's World Cup an 88-year tradition that pits the Golden Bears of California against the Thunderbirds of British Columbia. During its four score and more history, the crusade for the cup has provided legendary moments on the field and forged lasting memories in the minds of rugby fans. Twice each year, these powerhouses, definitively the best collegiate rugby programs in North America, square off to claim the cup, and the 2009 campaign kicks off next on ESPN. Welcome everyone to ESPN coverage of the National Guard Game of the Week. Coming to you from Witter Rugby Field in Berkeley, California. And here come the California Golden Bears, national champions many times over. Place the flag and wave it proudly. They win the match 31-15 over UBC. feet but just to try to put a shoulder on him and do your best and uh, I, I our guys just kept getting up and kept trying I'm just so proud of them. Cal one of the great dynasties ever in collegiate sports. Here are the two main artifacts of the building. This is the uh, the Olympic gold medal jersey from the 1924 Olympics and if you look closely here this is the French jersey and it reads Paris 1924 on it. We've been playing since 1882. It's the oldest sport on campus. It was played as our number one sport for a long time, and that gives it a bit of legacy. He's led the Bears to 21 national championships, and his players are well aware of what it takes to preserve such an enduring standard of dominance. It's pretty remarkable that the guys will put that much into it. I mean, non-scholarship athletes that have so much pride in what they're doing that you know nothing's too much to ask of them. Winning is a byproduct of the way that we conduct business around here. The winning will come, the championships will come, but what we're primarily focused on is reaching our potential and getting better as athletes. We're in this for the competition, you know, we're in it for the challenge. And, you know, we don't spend a lot of time looking at shiny goblets in the trophy case, you know. Mostly we're worried about uh, what's the next thing that we have to do to kind of retain our place in the game. You're looking at a team that, well, just think dynasty, the all-time great dynasties in sports. This is one of them. Cal, the very best team in this country. Not only, as you look at California's program, not only in the college level, they might be the best team of any kind in this country when it comes to rugby union. That's already cost Utah, now it costs Cal, but it's given right back on the knock-on. Bird sends it forward. The Bears may have a chance to use it. They're playing with advantage. Look at this explosive. Handling, close quarter handle. This is brilliant drilling right now, boys. He just can't make any mistakes against this Cal side there. Just far too dangerous, too many strike weapons from anywhere. This might be it. California rugby since 1882, BYU since 1962. Oh, good. What a scrum when they had it, have it. Oh, is that offside? Oh. Instead, it's going to be a California scrum. That might be it. We'll see. Oh, what a big time scrum. Well, the discovery is never boring for the California Golden Bears, that proud franchise. I mentioned a sport started at the University of California in the 1800s. They claimed their 26th national championship. What do you think about that, New York Yankees? <laughs>